Moreover, Russia stands alone. Russia stood alone when trying to defend its actions at the UN Security Council. The 28 members of the European Union are united. The 28 members of NATO are united. Every member of the G7 has imposed sanctions on Russia, as we announced on Monday. Uh, and the G7 will meet here in Brussels in June without Russia. So if anyone in the Russian leadership thought the world wouldn't care about their actions in Ukraine, or that they could drive a wedge between the European Union and the United States, they clearly miscalculated. As I've said repeatedly and was mentioned by both uh, Presidents Van Rompuy and Barroso, there is still a way for Russia to work with Ukraine and the international community to de-escalate the situation through diplomacy. That's the only way that the issue will be resolved. If Russia continues on its current course, however, the isolation will deepen. Sanctions will increase, and there will be growing consequences for the Russian economy. And this reflects the enduring commitment to the goal that has brought Europe and the United States together for decades, a Europe that is whole and free and at peace.